think I just found some treasure. Hey, welcome back to From Scratch Ranch. Today, we are playing with this new toy I just got, the Garrett Ace 400 Metal Detector. And I figured, you know, hey, we're out here in Civil War country and pioneer areas that uh, there's gotta be some kind of treasures out here that we can find. So I started up on the old logging road that we've been clearing for a side-by-side -side and horse trail. And I found these three artifacts pretty quickly, like within a half an hour. So talk about getting exciting and getting addicted to this when you find stuff that fast. But I found these two modern bullets. Super cool. This one was fired and just probably landed in the woods. Didn't smash anything. This other one actually smashed into something, probably a rock. And then what's also cool is this Eagle 125 volt glass fuse. Yeah, very cool. So after I found those things, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna come down here and check out along these boulders here. I got all these rock formations and these little caves like this. I'm like, surely somebody's had to hit some kind of treasure in areas like this and I just got a hit right there. We're gonna dig that up. Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out if I find anything in this spot right here. Some hidden treasure maybe. In the meantime, check out the rest of this video of us finishing out the shop side of our Barnuminium. <laughs> If you've been following our channel for a while, you've been watching us build out our Barnuminium and shop here, and probably were wondering, when are we gonna finish the, the shop side where that pink insulation's been showing up on the upper half of those walls for a while now? Well, we finally got around to it. We've also got our shop cleared out, organized, cleaned up a bit, so now we can get all the way through with the vehicle. We could bring our tractor in one side and side-by-side -side on the other. This just makes life so much easier and uh, working on projects out here. We got a lot more room to do that. So first thing we did though, Michaela and I actually put all of this plywood up. This plywood here is the backside of the wood stove on the Barnuminium side. It's a two by six, 16 foot high wall that we installed. Um, and check out that video if you haven't seen it. It's really, really good installing our wood stove and all the stone that we harvested out from our woods. And I chainsaw milled our mantle. So a pretty good video series, check that out. Um, but this is gonna be our rock climbing wall on this side. That's why this is all plywood right here. So we put that in first and then we went ahead and just did all of the drywall um, on that upper section there. The lower section was done before, but the upper section was all this pink, you know, bat insulation that just been exposed that uh, we really needed to get uh, completed and get that drywall off the floor here. Um, and also just to seal it off uh, for better, you know, efficiency of our heating and cooling inside and uh, also fire protection, better fire protection. Speaking of heating and cooling, we, I also added PVC pipe right up in there that goes up to our Mr. Cool DIY mini split. Um, check out that video link above also if you want to see that that was pretty interesting it was a diy mini split system that we were able to do ourselves and it came with a uh plastic you know 25 foot hose uh, for drainage of the condensation and that started to get all moldy and deteriorate a bit so i went ahead and just put hard pvc pipe in and piped it right outside and it's been working great so i got all this taped and mudded that's probably as far as that's going to go at least for now um, I don't think there's any real need to get that sanded and painted, but hey, maybe someday. Next, Michaela and I cleaned out the workshop. It was a disaster in there. You can barely walk through there. So we got that cleaned out and all organized. So let's go check that out. Well, we finally installed all of this pegboard here. This pegboard we got from that drugstore in town that was remodeling. We were able to pull that out of their basement for free. They posted on Facebook Marketplace and it came with uh, you know, a lot of the, the retail shelving that we've installed throughout that we also got for free. So we finally got that uh, pegboard up and Michaela did a fantastic job getting all of this organized. Um, you'll see that in time-lapse probably right as I'm talking here. Uh, but we got so much of this all just cleaned up and organized. It just is great. I mean, look at the floor. I mean, it's clear. We can walk through here. Um, there's enough space now for uh, some of the gardening here that Kristen's been working on. Eventually we'll have a gardening shed and a uh, greenhouse, uh, but for now she's doing it here. This is where the rabbits were for a long, long time. We finally built a rabbit hutch. My in-laws came into town and they helped us build a rabbit hutch. And we'll uh, actually put a little video in here of that too. 
So, uh, this has just worked out really, really well to get this. It's so nice just to be organized. We've also moved all of the animal feed into this room here uh, because it, this is not climate controlled, but it is insulated. So it stays nice and cool in here. Um, and this, you know, has a uh, sink. That's right. We installed our sink finally. So there's water here. So when they need to mix water with some of the, uh, the Timothy pellets or whatnot for the horses or whatever they need to do to feed the animals, um, we do have a sink here. So that's another thing that Michaela and I did that uh, finally we had the sink and all the plumbing done for so long, but we never installed the sink uh, because it was just so cluttered in here. We get so busy with all of our projects, one right after another, trying to just keep up with uh, making progress that um, sometimes you just got to step back and just get reorganized and get cleaned up and then start making a mess again with all new projects. You ready to put the sink in? Yeah! All right, so there's that's where it's going. Mm-hmm. And we need to go turn the water off. Okay, so we need to turn off the main, which is that on the blue right there. This one? Yep, so we turn that. Okay. And then probably turn the one on the hot water heater too, hot water. So nothing flows through, it doesn't draw anything. Okay, we should be good. Now we need to drain the pipes. Nothing. Okay, good. Squeeze. Oh, let's squeeze. Put, put the bucket under it. <laughs> <laughs> not going in the bucket. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta put the valves on. Okay. So before we put the valve on though, um, let's put the um, flange on. So those metal flanges right there. So slip those over to cover the wall. Okay. Then um, we gotta put the, uh, yep, exactly, the clamp on. So that's the PEX clamp. Good. Um, give it a little bit of space. Yep, that's good. Ooh, you might have to turn that because you're not going to be able to open, open it up. Open it. Yeah. Make sure it's about an eighth inch or so. And this is all the way on. Yeah. I hate this thing. I remember you. Ah! This thing is my enemy. Squeeze. You don't think I'm trying already? They're good. Oh, don't pull the whole pipe out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Next. Okay. 
good. Yeah. Got it. All right. And do you think it's on there good? So should we turn the water back on and see what happens? Well, it's not gonna flood out the holes. On well, those are valves. So you turn the valves, make sure they're off. Oh. So, what makes it off? Snow. Let's go turn the water on. All right. Turn the cold on first, just to see if that works. Doesn't seem to be leaking. I hear the water on. She did it. Is it leaking? Nope, no leaks. Nice. All right, go turn the hot water on. Hot water on? Yep. Good. No leaks. Nice. Dude, good job. Thank you. Get your uh, reciprocating saw and cut that pipe. I remember this from the toilet, and I'm not excited. Oh, the stickiness? Yeah, let's get a rag just to stuff in there. All right, cut it, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three inches away from the wall. Yep. It doesn't smell that bad. No? Good. No. We gotta put this on the end there. Yep, okay. You know, this is sort of a mess. Good. Slide her on. Good, that gives us something now to thread the grain pipe on too. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So now you need to take the, those nuts off the other top. Cause, Don't lose this. Yeah, Cause you got these to put on. Does this one stay in there? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really fit. I think this one. This one, no, it doesn't need it because this has got it in there built in. Okay. You want to take these off? Yeah, you take the tags off. Oh, I don't have anything to take. Oh. Everything rips off so easily these days, I feel like. Oh, you know what? Let's get some... Uh, the tape stuff. Yeah. Is that good? That's good, yeah. Uh, let's see, where could I find a wrench? Hmm. Let's see, maybe up here. I spy with my little eyes. There we go. Perfect. Now hold on to the valve itself too while you do that so you're not twisting the pecs. So I guess the uh, the legs don't screw in. Just the feet. Uh, Go Definitely the fumes. 
Okay. Now I'm assuming this is here. I think so. Will that fit through with her? Uh, yeah, I think so. It was a little bit persuading, maybe. Got it. Those nuts get um, threaded up on the two sides, on the handles, underneath. Underneath. Yeah, so, so I need to take it off. No, no. So under here. Oh, under there. Yeah, okay. they go over the... That's what holds the faucet onto the sink. Make sure they're really tight. Uh, yeah, they're tight. <sighs> yeah. Sitting in the corner. <laughs> Were you naughty? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, so here, put this weight on. This right here goes on the hose. Put the, oops. Okay. Put that piece on first. So the hose. Yep. So then slide. Yep, just like that. And then, then put that back in there. Put that, and then this screws in there. Well, pull the hose all the way through. Push, push the hose through all the way. Oh. Right. Yeah. So that's like a weight. No, no, it's, it just hangs at the bottom, loosely. Right there. Yeah. So just, well, just tighten it up. Well, that's there. where it says, hang weight here. Okay. So then um, connect the, the hose. To. To right here. Right here? To that white one, yeah. Yeah, you turn the white, yeah. Okay. That's really tight. Yeah. Okay, and then tighten that weight at the bottom. It says to tighten it actually on the upper side of yeah, like right there. Good. Okay. So then what that does, just pulls uh, that back in. It's a weight to, when you, you know, use the faucet. Oh. The weight just pulls that back in. Nice. Okay, now you can come out of the corner. <laughs> we got to pull the sink back to the wall. Well, you can stay down there actually, because we're going to have to um, connect those hoses to yeah. the back side of the faucet. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it goes right on to the... This right that's here? That's the cold water side, right? Uh, yeah. Does it reach? Yeah. Okay. Am I spinning this right, Ray? Maybe, maybe not. I think so. No, no, I wasn't. Screw, does it need to be a screwdriver, maybe? Or not screwdriver, a wrench. wrench. <laughs> it's these dang things. This wrench is too small. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, bigger wrench. Thank you. It's a little tight back there. Do. You're going the wrong way. Oh, you're right. I blame it on the fumes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I think it's tight enough. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Hot water now? Can you get the hot water from that side? Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so the drain pipe that you have in your hand, mm -hmm. the cut end goes into the wall. But before you put that into the wall, you gotta slip on the nut part. That nut part, yep. So put that on the other way. Yep. Makes so it's gonna sense. screw on to the thing that you glued on to the pipe. I'm supposed to put and then in. that goes, uh, I think it's the, it goes um, the narrow end. See how it's tapered? The, the rubber washer's tapered? Yes. So the skinny part goes towards the wall. Nope, the other way. Yep, like that. Okay, and so this and then that, then you can put that into the wall. Okay. And then screw it on. And use like special like. So how far do we want it to go? Well, it's gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna put it in as far as you can. Well, we gotta get the other part. Yeah, get the other part so we can see. So this goes like that. Okay. Does that so, line up? No. So you take that further. Goes in. Uh, I think we need to scoot the sink out a little bit. If we can. Mm. Because this can't go any further. Uh, because of the bend? Yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, that works. Just like. Okay. Yeah, you should be good. And we gotta put the other pipe in. So let's cut that. Okay, so this goes inside there, but I need to cut it down. Okay, yeah. So, so let me cut it to about right there. So, let's see if it all fits. And we gotta put the washers on, the rubber this washers. This guy will go up here, right? So this way. Will that go up higher? Like you can, yeah, it's because of the length. So. Yep, just like that. Okay, so let's get the washers on there. Yeah, you can move that out of the way. Or? Yeah, it just fits over the, that lip thing, like that. Yep. Okay. This goes. Yep, uh, like that, yep. With the narrow facing, yep. <laughs> Good call. Okay, yeah, that part. Okay. There we go. And that goes in the wall. Yep. And before you screw it on, we gotta line everything up. Okay. Nice and tight, okay. And then you're gonna hook up the sink. We'll tighten everything down further. Okay, do you want me to- Not the wall yet, Not the sink, the so the sink right. lines up right. Or does that go in all the way? I thought you had it in further before. We were testing it. So, it's going right way? Yep. All right, there we go. Messed up on what the hose. Oh, shoot. <laughs> although that's probably fine if this comes out, but we haven't uh -huh. taken it into the wall yet, so okay, we can just okay, pull it up. <laughs> All right. 
I'll make sure everything is nice and tight. Every single one of those things. I know, I can only get it so tight though. Which way was this one? The opposite of the one below it. So. Okay, well I can't move that one, so. Okay, good, I think we're done. Okay, turn the water on. Oh. Was it on? In the water, but the faucet the was on. <laughs> okay, so there's no leaks down there and nothing's leaking up here. Good job, Michaela. Thank you. All right, so let's turn the water on. Now we gotta make sure the drain doesn't leak. Oh, drain's leaking. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Yep. Okay, so I think we just need to tighten those up a bit. Okay. You, you just hand tighten everything. So let me grab a wrench. It's that one, I think. There you go. You know what? Now these are plastic, so you don't wanna like. Crush them? turning a lot. <laughs> that means it was pretty loose. We should have done this to begin with, but I wanted to, to show that it would leak just with hand tightening. Hey, hey, hey. Good or more? If you can keep turning it without too much effort. Okay, that's good. Let's get the rest of them again. This one was. This one. Yeah. You're doing is you're compressing the uh, those rubber washer things. Yeah. Okay, test you out. Yep, I see water. Oh, it's coming out of the faucet. So up where you connected the faucet, yeah. those have to be tightened better. Okay, so it's coming out of the middle one. That's that, yeah, that's the plastic one for the hose. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this side. We have water. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. What's that button do? That's got spray, yeah. Look at this one. Yeah, it's it back. Okay. Just a cheap faucet, but good enough for out here in the workshop. Yeah. So now we can clean out our paintbrushes and all of our, you know, whatever we're doing. Doesn't have to be in the nice sink. Exactly, exactly. Cool. All right. Yeah. Next thing. I think I found something. What is that? Oh yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. I think that's a bullet. A really old bullet. Very cool, check this out. Look at that. That definitely looks like a bullet, a smashed bullet. 
Civil War era. I mean, the way it's white and patinaed, oxidized, the oxidized lead. That is awesome. There's treasure out here for sure. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this metal detector, I think, out here when we've got time to take a break and, and enjoy our property. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. So that way you get notified every time we get a video out. So until next time, keep living the dream. Dig it again.